Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How does birthright citizenship affect the unauthorized population in the U.S.? Birthright citizenship granted by the 14th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution awards citizenship to anyone born in the United States, regardless of their parents' immigration status. This policy has significant implications for the unauthorized population in the U.S. Currently, about 250,000 babies are born to unauthorized immigrant parents each year, down from a peak of 390,000 in 2007. These children, despite their parents' unauthorized status, are granted U.S. citizenship at birth. As of 2016, there were approximately 5.1 million U.S.-born children under the age of 18 living with at least one unauthorized immigrant parent. Of these, 4.1 million have U.S. citizenship and another 100,000 hold a green card. If birthright citizenship were repealed, the consequences would be far-reaching. The unauthorized population in the U.S. would significantly increase. According to the Migration Policy Institute, denying citizenship to children with at least one unauthorized parent would balloon the unauthorized population from 11 million today to 24 million by 2050. This increase would be due to the creation of a self-perpetuating class of unauthorized immigrants. By 2050, there would be 4.7 million unauthorized immigrants who were born in the U.S., with 1 million having two U.S.-born parents. This would double the unauthorized share of the under-18 child population from its current 2%. Mexicans and Central Americans, who account for nearly three-quarters of all unauthorized immigrants, would be the hardest hit by such a change. This demographic impact is significant, but as it would exclude these individuals from social membership and basic services for generations. Repealing birthright citizenship would not only increase the unauthorized population, but also create a new permanent underclass. Children born to unauthorized immigrants would be left without citizenship or nationality, potentially rendering them stateless and vulnerable to exploitation and abuse. Additionally, this policy change would not address the root causes of unauthorized immigration. Immigrants come to the U.S. primarily to work, reunite with family, or flee persecution, not specifically to give birth. Therefore, ending birthright citizenship would not discourage unauthorized immigration and would instead complicate the already complex U.S. immigration system. In summary, Birthright citizenship plays a crucial role in defining the legal status and opportunities of children born in the U.S. to unauthorized immigrant parents. Repealing this provision would have profound and far-reaching consequences, exacerbating rather than alleviating the issues surrounding unauthorized immigration. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.